In this video, I'm gonna try some Mexican candy for the first time. Let's go! Hey there, Snack Fam! It's me, Bernie, and welcome to another episode of Snacks Reveal. Exciting, exciting snacks I have for you today. Guess what? I've got candy from Mexico! Shout out once again to Diego from Mexico for suggesting this. You want Mexican snacks? I give you Mexican snacks! So it wasn't easy to find a place in Singapore that sells Mexican candies. But I didn't give up. So there is this restaurant at Chimes called La Mexicana. And they have a little Mexican supermarket right there next to the restaurant. While I was there, not all the snacks were in stock. So I just grabbed whatever I could and go! I have never tasted authentic Mexican snacks or candies in my life. Pretty exciting to open it and taste it in front of you. Alright, I have six different kinds of candies today. This is called Duvalin. This is the hazelnut and vanilla flavor. You can see the two colors. And it's supposed to taste like Nutella. Next, this is called De La Rosa. It's a marzipan candy, which is supposed to be something made out of peanuts. This is called Obleas. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Obleas wafer with cow and goat's milk. Next, this is the Tirolo. The Tirolo is a tamarind flavoured candy. It's called the Zumba Pika Tirolo Tamarind Candy. The fifth candy is called Banderilla. Banderilla is also a tamarind flavoured candy. This is a natural tamarind fruit candy with salt and chilli. And the final one is a lollipop, La Vaquita. And this is a caramel flavoured lollipop. Looks cute, looks yummy. So to accompany me on this Mexican candy tasting journey, I have with me little bottle of tequila, which is a national drink of Mexico. This is the Patron Tequila Reposado. Let me show you how to make a tequila tonic. Tonic water. So I'm gonna pour these two together and add a dash of lemon. I've got my glass of ice. Open this. Wow. Whoa, it's a little bit too much. <laughs> Real lemon. The tonic water. Give it a little stir. Oh! Flickety flick and taste. Mmm! Wow! Cheers! Okay, snack fam, which one should I try first? Marza Pan. Let's try this. Opening. Ooh! It's soft! When I open it, it just broke. Soft and powdery. Mmm! Smells really good. There's a nutty smell. Let's try a little bit. It's powdery. It's a powdery paste. Mmm! Definitely a very nutty flavor. It's very similar to a, a, an Asian, the peanut snack that we have in Asia. It's a little creamier in texture. Feels like it's covered with um, smooth flour. If you love peanut flavored snacks, you know, you'll love this one. So if you buy this from La Mexicana, they are $1.80 each. <sighs> this is good. All right, next, the Tirolo. Aha. Smells kind of salty. So the stick is pretty thick, like a thick straw and the candy is wrapped around the stick. Mm. It tastes a lot like the sour plum that we have in Asia. It has a sweet and salty taste. It's pretty good. I like this. Next, let me try the Bandarilla. Bandarilla is also a tamarind snack with salt and chilli. All these snacks are made in Mexico, so they're really authentic. <gasps> oh! So it's prepared a similar way as the Tirolo. It's also a stick here with the tamarind wrapped around it. But as you can see, it's coated with chili powder. And maybe it's spicy. Let's try. Mmm. 
Mm. No, it's not spicy. <laughs> okay, it has a similar taste to this. I was expecting it to be a little spicy, but it's not. I think this is a little too sweet for me. Tirolo tastes better than the Banderilla. What's next? Tequila. So let me try this. This hazelnut and vanilla cream. Alright, you can see. Ooh. So the brown color is the hazelnut and the pale white color is the vanilla. Take a scoop of both the hazelnut and the vanilla. Mm. Okay, the hazelnut tastes pretty similar. The vanilla is a little bit more dense than the chocolate. <laughs> it's not much. These, these are wafers with cow and goat's milk. I think these are pretty standard snack in Mexico. So a bag like this, it has 20 pieces of wafers in it. And this costs $8.80. So let's try. Alright, so let me take one out. So if you can see, each one is circular and thin. I think this is the brand name Aldama. Wrapped in a plastic sheet. So let's just take it out. So this is pretty interesting. The wafer is very thin. It's thin like paper. And it's covering the top and the bottom of the of this snack. What's inside is like a cow and goat milk filling. Hmm. Very sweet. The wafer is pretty much tasteless. But I guess the function of the wafer is so that you can hold it in your hand without getting sticky, without getting the sticky filling on your hands. Texture is like soft caramel. I like this. Alright, the last candy is the lollipop. So this is a caramel, milk caramel flavored lollipop. Let's try this. It. It's tasty. It's hard. I think this is pretty regular. It tastes like caramel. So it's not too bad. So I've tried all six different kinds of Mexican candy. They taste really sweet. I think the most interesting flavor is the Tirolo, this one. Which I like the best. Because it has a it has a nice thick and soft texture. The nice tamarind flavor. My next favorite snack is the is the mazapan. This is a peanut flavored snack and I think the texture is really good. It's smooth and it's a good nutty flavor, not too strong. Very nice. You've got to remove it really carefully so you don't make a mess. Alright, so tell me in the comments if you've tried any Mexican snacks and which is your favorite. Okay, so this has been a really interesting experience. Once again, thank you Diego for suggesting the Mexican snacks. And if you like your snack of choice to be featured on this channel, just put it in the comments below or use the submit a snack link that I'll put in the description. Alright, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and let me know. And if you love snacks and you want to watch more videos like this, Click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to never miss an episode. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, happy snacking! Bye!